perspective and within your control. New Movana. Keep life in perspective. You want to be prepared? You watch the Weather Channel. When it comes to something as important as this, knowing what we know can make all the difference. It's all we do. Right now, it's your local forecast on the Weather Channel. snow has ended in Chicago and now cold temperatures have moved in not only for you folks in the Windy City but other parts of the Midwest as well. Now, there's still some snow and ice in parts of central and northern New England this morning. Elsewhere the precipitation has changed to just plain rain across much of the Northeast. Good morning. Welcome to Weather Center. I'm Rick Griffin. And I'm Will Annan. Thanks for joining us here this morning. There's a chance for severe thunderstorms today across parts of the Deep South. More on that in just a moment. But first, a look at the northeast and a very, very cold Midwest. This is the story right now looking at the satellite picture. Again, a lot of abundant moisture now beginning to flow on northward. Caused a lot of ice during the last 24 hours from Kentucky back to Oklahoma and Kansas. Now spreading a swath of precipitation as far northward as just about all of New England. But for the big cities, we're talking about more rain than snow that's go around. After a burst of some snow yesterday around Washington and Baltimore, Philly, getting up towards New York City, even around Boston. Well, let's take a look at what's happening throughout the Midwest right now. It's going to be getting colder again. Another Arctic high pressure is sliding southeastward. Should affect all of the deep south as well by the time the weekend comes to a close. Rick will have more on that coming up in just a moment. Temperatures beginning to fall too. Take a look at this right now. We're looking at temperatures at this hour beginning to tumble. It is down to 21 below in Fargo. Look at Minneapolis-St. Paul, 14 below, 6 below in Green Bay, 9 above in Chicago, 22 in Cleveland. But for Chicago and Cleveland, your temperature is probably going to be going nowhere today as the Arctic air begins to filter on in. And the wind chill is even worse than that. Take a look at these numbers right now because the wind chills really drop off to 30, 40, some cases 50 degrees below zero across parts of the Plain States. And some of that stuff will be visiting Chicagoland a little bit later on. And also you can see the lake effect snow showers beginning to pick up again around Traverse City, the southwestern corner of Michigan around Benton Harbor. And then we pick up that light snowfall beginning to leave Cleveland as of the present time. Speaking of Cleveland, we're going to get a live report right now from Jim Cantori, who's standing by in Cleveland. And it looks like once again, Jim, for the time being, you'll be looking at the snowfall beginning to taper off. But the big chill is definitely on the way in. Yeah, that's really the story here, Will, is the continuation of, the, of this real cold weather. And, you know, you have to go back two years to look at the, the, a kind of stretch like we've had here in Cleveland with respect to what's happening uh, with the unsettled weather. I'm going to kind of move into our light here as it's, it's, it's kind of shifted around with the wind. We're getting wind gusts here easily uh, at 20, maybe even 30 miles an hour. They're coming right across the lake. So that is definitely kicking up and blowing the snow around at times and that's going to make visibilities go down if you're on the road today so please keep that in mind other than that will by cleveland standards in all honesty this really hasn't been too bad we've had about six inches of snow and that's nothing they can't deal with around here a lot of the roads 
have been scraped and salted and whatnot, but you're still going to find slippery spots. And all you really need to do is just slow it down and realize it may take you, oh, another half the time that it would normally take you or perhaps even double the time. And that's really the best advice that we have for you this morning. But I know that the kids are going to have a major cabin fever today. Mom, Dad, make sure you bundle them up as you head them out today. Wind chills down in the single digits and they're heading below zero as we go on. We have seen the lake effect bands kick in, uh, Will, up the road toward Ashtabula. And uh, we'll keep you posted as to the intensity of that snow and the roads as well. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Jim. He loves the snow. Perhaps we'll relocate him a little bit later on into that snow belt area. Jim, we're counting on it. We'll try and send you there a little bit later on. Okay. And Jim will be back with us a little bit later on, too, and show us what's happening in Cleveland and what may be developing again over the northeastern corner of Ohio, Lake Ashtabula and Geauga counties. You've got lake effect snow warnings in effect right now for very late this afternoon and tonight because that's going to be the area that should be belted by some more heavier snows. We'll take a look at the northeast very quickly one more time. Again, for the big cities from Boston down towards New York City to Philadelphia, the changeover occurred last evening and through last night from freezing rain, a little bit of snow to just plain rain. That is the story right now with the temperatures in the 40s up and down the east coast for the most part. Now, Portland, Maine, still looking at some freezing rain, so it's conquered. You get back into the uh, interior sections of New York State, it is still freezing rain around Poughkeepsie, back towards the west, where it changes back over to some snowfall. But a little bit later on, everybody's back to some light snowfall, with the front beginning to move on through. That will scour out all of that freezing rain, and much colder air is going to be moving in, too, for the second half of the weekend. That's a look right now at the northeastern part of the country. Now, let's go back to Rick. Thanks a lot, Will. It's been kind of mild recently across the south, but it's going to turn cold once again for many of you. In fact, in some areas on this Saturday, temperatures will peak early today before falling rapidly this afternoon. I'll talk more about that in a moment. First, a look at the situation concerning the rain and the potential for severe weather in the south. And we do have severe thunderstorm warnings right now for parts of Alabama and Florida, and it's due to a sharp wintertime cold front which is progressing across the, uh, the southern states. We really have the battleground of the air masses right now, and that is especially true just north of the Gulf Coast here, where the most um, significant instability and moisture in the atmosphere exists, and that's clashing with the Arctic cold front coming in from the west. So right now, there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Walton County in northwest Florida, also for Okaloosa County in northwestern Florida, and also for Escambia County, that's in northwestern Florida and the Florida Panhandle, and Baldwin County in southwestern sections of Alabama until 7 o'clock Central Standard Time for about another.